Hi, I'm Ruben Sanchez from Urban Studios and we are going to see how to connect OBS with Antelope Orion Studio. Well, first of all, we have to mute everything on our Antelope Orion Studio because if we, uh, we don't have it muted, we can have a uh, feedback and we can damage our speakers if something goes wrong. So we are going to first check that they are all muted. So first of all, we are going to connect a microphone, a guitar and our sound from our computer to OBS. How can we do this? We're going to use the matrix and we're going to use this screen to make it work. So first of all, the sound from the computer comes from here, from TV play or USB play if you're using your USB. So we're going to use two mixers in our Antelope Orion Studios. The first one is going to be used only to send the sound to OBS. The second one is going to be used for the speakers for your monitoring purposes. So we are going to send the first two channels to the mix channel one. So we have the sound from the computer going to this virtual mixer. And we are going to send the first channel that it's a microphone I have connected here on the first channel. We're going to send it to channel three on the mix channel one. And the second one that's going to be our guitar just you want to use it on your channel too. And we are going to do the same for the second channel. So channel one and channel two. And this time we are not sending the microphone because we don't want this feedback coming through your speakers. So we are not sending that. We are just gonna send the guitar so you can have your guitar on your speakers. You can hear it but it's not going to make a feedback. So now that we have that, we're gonna test if it's sending sound. How do we test that? We play some music on something on your computer and we're going to check here in the mixer one that it's sending music. You can check that it's sending music. It's also receiving sound from my microphone. And if we see in the mixer two, we're gonna see that we have sound coming from the computer also. So now that we have this, we are good to go. Now we're gonna open OBS and Pro Tools. I'm gonna put a window capture, that is gonna be Pro Tools. Maybe you can try it with your computer, with Google Chrome or something. We're gonna put Google Pro Tools, sorry. And then I'm gonna put a video capture device, that is gonna be my face. You can use everything you want, just for this button. So we have everything here. Now, to receive sound, I have it already configured. But how do we configure it here in OBS? You have to come here to OBS Audio in Settings. And then you have to disable everything but the Mix Auxiliary Audio first. So we're going to put Orion Studio. If you do it correctly, you're going to be receiving sound, but from the Antelope Orion Studio stuff. You are not hearing it. So we have it here. If you play music like from here, from Top Pro Tools, you are not going to hear it because we, we haven't connected to the speakers. But you see how OBS is receiving the sound. So we are okay. The sound from here is receiving, yeah. So we are okay from now. Now we have to connect them to the speakers so you can hear what you are sending or what you are streaming. So how are we going to do that? We have to choose the second one. Remember the first one is all the sound that you're going to send to the OBS and the second one is everything you want to hear from your speakers or if you're gonna use the headphones from your headphones. 
So we are going to we're going to put these two on the monitors. So if everything is correct, you should put your speakers out. You cannot hear what's in the microphone, so there's no feedback. And if you play music, now I'm listening what's on the speakers, what's on the OBS, what's going to what what people are going to hear. Now you can hear it on your speaker. And now another thing you can do is play the guitar with the OBS and maybe you cannot maybe you are not going to use pro tools, maybe you just want to play with guitars and play with, and maybe play with some plugins or something. There's two ways to do that. First one is going to be just using the channel 2 on here on on Pro Tools, maybe, you know, and the other way, the other way around that I like a little bit better because you can use the sounds on your Orion Studio is to you to use the effects on the Orion Studio. So how can we do that? Now we know that the channel two is for guitars. So we have the preamp channel two on the Orion Studio. We're gonna send it to channel two on Apex in. So we have it here. And the Apex out, we're gonna send a copy to OBS. So in channel four, remember? And I'm going to send a copy to the channel two mixer because I wanna hear the guitar on the speakers. If we are correct, we should be hearing our guitar now. Now I have it here in the FX, already a kind of distortion guitar. It's not really good, the sound, but you can play with that. Now you know, and now you see that on OBS, you are recording your voice with your microphone for podcast or your lavalier and your guitar, distorted guitar. Okay, now that we have done everything good, or everything the way it should be, now there's only one thing missing, how to stream it. You go to settings, you go to stream, and then you select the service you wanna use. Maybe you're going to put it in Twitch, YouTube, Mixer, Facebook. All of them are the same. You just have to put that on the screen of, on the browser. If you put Facebook and you go to stream, they are going to give you a stream key that you're going to put here. You're going to press OK. And then you have to start streaming. And that's all. You, you just make sure that it's streaming in your computer, in your browser, in your Google Chrome, and that's it. Just remember to start recording also, because now if, if there's something that it's missing in the transmission, maybe with your connection or something, you can also upload it and then you're gonna be okay if something, if people doesn't, don't see something you want, you want them to see. So hopefully that it's a good explanation of how to do that. I hope you will like it. I'm sorry if my English is not very good. I'm, I'm not a native English speaker. So hopefully you like it and hopefully you you subscribe to my channel. All, all of my videos are in Spanish, but they, uh, they have uh, captions. So I hope you like it and see ya.